Hello and welcome to Beer Bros. Andiamo with our last Italian beer of the week. Per l'ultima birra della settimana abbiamo. I told you to quit with that gibberish. We've got another from Ama. Ama Cord. Another table. Artesian beer, and it's a blonde. Okay, Italian blonde. I'm not gonna say they're all fake, but you know, there is a unicorn every once in a while. Italian blondes? And the Afro blondes? Yeah. Especially up north. Oh. oh. So again, I can assume that this is probably like a strong alcohol by volume beer. Probably. Well, just from the onset, from what you can see, uh, it's a little bit different. Here's Mondays, actually this is Wednesdays. Here's uh, Mondays versus Wednesdays comparison from the same brewery. So we have a brown and then obviously a blonde here. So uh, quite a big disparity. So the brewery itself has a very wide range of products. And this has got a very strong head. Even yours does. Wow. Even in the bottle it does. <clears throat> so let's get what we can from a sniff. Okay. Once again, it's got that European characteristic, but very, very mild. So again, very mild. This is more pronounced as far as the, the tropical notes and some of the, I guess, wheats and grains that went into making this as opposed to a hoppy, stronger uh, malty beer. So this is again along the same lines as, as the blonde, just like it says it's labeled. So uh, the brown was brown, the blonde was blonde. Yeah, I just said that. Brown the brown, the brown the brown, the blonde the blonde. Boy, we could use a guy like Herbert Hoover again. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. As you can tell, the beer is effervescing very nicely. So it should be. Mine's nicer than yours. Yeah, yours is very good. I'm jealous of yours. I got poor envy. Genetics? Yeah. Alright, so let's give it a, a clinky drink. Clinky drinky. Isn't that what you said? No. Wednesday? Clinky drinky. Hmm. It's a very interesting taste. It's very definitely a European beer. Yes, I, I can definitely, uh, I can surely distinguish that it's light, crisp. Again, the, the notes of uh, tropical, like the flowery, type of, of hops okay. that went into brewing it. This is almost a, I think the first beer that I that we tried for the week, I said that it was at notes of farmhouse okay. style. So this would kind of be, I guess maybe an artisan style. Like it, it's just, It's very, very much like there's a lot of care that went into the making. Okay, okay. Thank you for giving me that look. Were you expecting another Rostro Caro Dexter look? Yes. But I think that it's um, it's definitely, like I said, lighter. And, and the European beers that we have had on the show, mm -hmm. just from the like the Hefeweizens and, and whatnot from Germany, they tend to have more of a flavor like like this and right, some, of right. the, some of the ales and the sour sour beers that we have right this isn't sour but it's along the lines of of that so okay might be. okay but uh it's, it's solid beer okay and with that qual è la tua beer preferita per la quella settimana i don't know what you just said but normally it's beer of the week time so to me, my beer of the week, it's gonna be a little difficult because I don't speak Italian. And <laughs> I, I don't know, like, I don't know if I can pronounce it correctly. So, can I just point and you say it? 
Birra numero uno, birra numero due, o birra numero tre. Due o tre. Uh, yeah. They're all pretty good. Birra una. Una. Beer number one, beer of the week, the Amacord Brown. So, uh, I think that about wraps it up. Do you have any other cool Italian thing to say, Keith? C'era una volta un semplice pezzo di legno. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let us know what you think. And let us know what you think about Keith's Italian and his accent. So, uh, until next Monday when we go back to reviewing regular beer. Beer Bros out! <laughs>